Uh, hey everybody, uh, Flip Rashi here. I'm going to make a guide on how to put ringtones on your Sprint uh, LG Rumor phone. Um, a lot of people have had trouble putting ringtones on their phones, uh, specifically this kind, because of the fact that the phone doesn't put any MP3s that you put into it in a folder that's reachable or made for ringtones. You put an MP3 on there and your phone won't read the MP3. Um, so I'm going to show you how to turn that file into something that will read on your phone and you can customize any ringtone uh, from any mp3 that you have on your computer. So um, the programs list will be in the description on the side, um, but I'm just going to go through really quick. The first program you're going to need is Audacity. Um, it's free. You can Google it. You can find it off, I think, download.com. It's pretty easy to use. I'm going to go through the quick interface really quick. The only things you need to know are at the top. Um, you're just going to have to start and first open your mp3 uh, in this case I'm just going to choose I guess Slayer, Raining Blood doesn't really matter what you use as long as it's an mp3 mm, let's see here it'll take a time depending on the speed of your computer okay here we go so you have your sound file and as you can see it plays and it just goes through the bar. What you're going to want to do is pick any section of the of the mp3 that you want to put as your ringtone. Um, I usually go with the trial and error method. Just click on a spot and play from there to see if that's where you want. Um, sometimes it's hard to get a specific spot if you want to be really picky. So you can use the zoom feature over here on the side. Um, you can zoom in closer to get smaller increments so you can get more specific. Um, let's just say I'm going to cut out a certain spot, the chorus or something. Let's go with... I'm sure that's fine right there. Let's go with the chorus toward the end. So let's say I, c I can cut off as much as I want. On top is the time. It tells you how much you're going to cut off. You can just guess. Um, depending on the size of your mini SD card. Um, it depends on how much you want to put on it. Let's say I want to put on, I don't know, 30 seconds. So I select it, and I'm going to go to export selection as MP3. So you're going to cut this piece out and put it as an MP3. I just save it to my desktop for quick use. Um, another thing, when you download Audacity, you're going to need to download a lame underscore something DLL. Um, if you type it into Google, right at the top, there's a download link for it. It's just a small file that Audacity needs to archive your MP3s. Pretty easy to use, pretty quick to find. So after I have exported my MP3, you'll see that it's on my desktop. This is an MP3, and I'm going to be able to do the next step with it. The next step, um, you're going to need Digital Media Converter 2.7. Um, it's you can find that off pretty much any website. What this is going to do is turn your MP3 into a WMV. Um, it's going to make your phone think that it's playing a video when it's actually just playing a sound file with a blank screen. Um, this is just a trial version. You don't need the full version. You can get pretty much just the first version you find will be a trial version. These are old ringtones. Okay, so you're going to want to add your file. Um, it's going to be on your desktop. And it will upload it really quickly. Alright, there we go. And make sure you check the conversion to make sure it's going to be WMV and make sure that you're saving it to a spot that you want. I'm just saving mine to the desktop. Alright, we can start the conversion. And it's going to tell you that the digital, this uh, trial version is um, it only converts the first three minutes, but I doubt your ringtone is going to be more than three minutes. So just continue evaluation and it will change your MP3 into a WMV depending on the size of your MP3 and the speed of your computer. As you can see, the progress bar is here. It goes relatively quickly. This file is about 33 seconds long, and it goes pretty fast. Um, let's keep going here. <coughs> so once the file is converted, you're going to need to download a... It'll tell you it's completed. You're done with the digital media converter. You can close it. Um, the last, the One of the last steps is you're going to need Zillistoft. 3GP video converter. I googled this and you can go to the Zillsoft website and get a trial version for free. The trial version only converts the first like three minutes of the file 
and once again your file is not going to be that long. So you use a Zillisoft 3GP video converter and you're going to convert it to a 3G2 file which is what your phone will read. So first thing you want to do is add your file. Mine's on my desktop again. Look, make sure you open the WMV, not the MP3. Open the WMV file. And here we have Slayer. Alright, so I it shows me my bit on the side it shows me my bitrate and everything. Make sure everything's okay. Um if you're really into specs, you can change the video size. Um when you first open this up, it you're you're at by default it's gonna be selected as a three G P file. You're gonna want to switch the profile to three G two file for Sprint Rumor phones and for many other phones. Um, you're gonna want three G two files. That's a that's a very common mobile phone video uh, codec. So after it's all done, you've selected that. You selected your file destination down here on the bottom. Um, you can encode your video. And it'll ask you for a license code. Just click cancel, and then it'll tell you that the trial version only encodes two minutes. That's fine. Your not your file's only a minute long. So it encodes it, takes five seconds maybe. All done encoding it, done with video converter, and now you have your MP3 files turned into a 3G2 file. This is the file you want. Now, hopefully, um, before getting your hopes up, you um, thought about how you're going to get those files onto your phone. Well, the best way I would figured to do this is to have a mini SD card. You can go out and buy a mini SD card for maybe, I don't know, 15 bucks. You can buy a mini SD card for 15 bucks, and you're going to need some kind of data cable. Uh, I chose this Motorola data cable. It was relatively expensive. It was kind of a bad investment, but you can get this, and it has a like an adapter on it, so you can plug your mini SD card right into it. And use this. this data cable will plug into your computer, and um, it'll be able to access your SD card. You're going to want to open up the files on your um, you're going to want to open up the, go through the folders on your SD card, go all the way to the 100 file, I think it's just 100 DCL, it's like DCLM 100 or something. Open it up and just drag and drop your 3G2 file into there. Uh, on your phone, when you set a ringtone, you go to My Albums, which I think I can give you a quick tutorial on that. You can go to your menu option, go down to the bottom left for pictures. And then down here, the fourth one is My Albums. I'm sure you can't see it because this phone. I mean, it doesn't work well with my camera. But you can go to My Albums and select your ringtone. Check it out. Make sure it's okay. And that's about it. Um, you can get a data cable, a decent one, for about eight or ten bucks at you know Walmart, Radio Shack, anything like that. Um, this is the best way I've seen to put ringtones on my phone. I have wonderful quality, and I have like 30 ringtones. So. Um, Hopefully you guys learned something. If you have any questions, please leave questions in the comments, and I'll answer them in another video, maybe another part. Um, thanks for watching, and good luck.